Several new patent applications were just filed by Tesla, and they reveal tons of new details about the Cybertruck, including potentially longer range, driving modes, performance, and the solar tonneau cover, and much more. Let's check out all the details that we have for you today. So let's get started. First patent application that we would like to talk about reveals a lot of new exciting features for the Cybertruck. This application shows a number of revealing user interface screenshots. And it includes many pictures like this one of the Cybertruck user interface. This particular picture is really interesting because as you can see there, on the screen, is showing 610 miles of range. We know that this is miles because the speed is in miles per hour, so the range would also be in miles and not kilometers. And if you look closely in some of the pictures, you can just barely make out, am I? So it's miles, 610 miles of range could be possible for the cyber truck. If this is true, and the tri-motor cyber truck has over 600 miles of range, this would be incredible and would be, way more than Tesla promised. Tesla promised that the Cybertruck would have over 500 miles of range, and over 600 miles of range would be mind-blowing. It also brings up the question, if the tri-motor Cybertruck has over 600 miles of range, do the dual-motor and single-motor versions of the Cybertruck also have more range? In this patent application, this picture is also included, showing the off-roading user interface. You can see that there will be a screen that will show three different camera angles. Also the display will show the current pitch of the vehicle, the forward angle, and the roller side angle of your truck while you're off-roading. When it comes to the drivetrain screen in this particular menu, you'll be able to see the tire pressure at each wheel, the torque at each wheel, and also the height at which your suspension is set. Not only is this user interface interesting, but also two of these details that are here on the screen are also really interesting because Tesla says on their website right now that the ground clearance of the Cybertruck is up to 16 inches. However, it appears like this screen shows that the suspension in this example is set to a 20-inch height. This makes it seem like there might be a feature similar to what GMC is offering, where maybe 16 inches is the highest you can go while you're normally driving, but there might be a mode while off-roading that allows you to raise a Cybertruck another 4 inches for tougher terrain. Also as you can see the individual wheel torque ratings are set at 9,845 newton meters. This is equivalent to 7,261 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's an awful lot of torque, obviously that's not engine torque, but that's at wheel torque, and this would be roughly the same as what the Tesla Roadster is going to have. Currently on the Tesla website, they say that the wheel torque of the Tesla Roadster is right around 10,000 newton meters. This particular picture was also included in this patent, and it reveals some details about smart trailer assistance features that may be included with the Cyber Truck. As you can see once again similar to the off-roading mode, there are three different camera angles, the system will tell you how far you are away from the trailer as you back up, and there might even be some kind of automatic trailer connection system. As you see, there's a button that says attach, and so maybe the cyber truck will autonomously back up and connect to a trailer. Another screen that Tesla shared in this patent application shows the possibility that the cyber truck could actually tow up to 20,000 pounds instead of the 14,000 pounds that was promised for the tri-motor version of the truck. As you can see the top of the screen shows 20,000 pounds being towed. And right below that, it says trailer weight. This patent also gives us a great look for an accessory that Tesla hinted at with this picture, showing the portable kitchen coming out of the back of the truck. As you can see here, this screen displays that the stove top is on, and apparently you'll be able to control some of the aspects of this from the screen. This picture gives a glimpse into what the full self-driving autopilot user interface should look like. We found this screen really interesting because you can lower the rear tailgate just with the push of the button. This makes us think there may be a possibility of a power opening and closing rear tailgate, and that would be a great feature. Tesla also shared this picture, showing the charging interface. 
The one interesting thing about this screen is that, at a 32% state of charge, it says, there are still 46 minutes remaining and charging. We are hoping that, this is not revealing, that the charging time for the Tesla Cybertruck will be slower than expected. This screen shows some of the various settings that will be available for the Cybertruck, and of course the HVAC system in the Cybertruck will function in a very similar way to how the Model 3 and the Model Y do, and how the brand new refresh Model S and Model X do as well. We also found it interesting that the Cybertruck user interface will have a built-in calendar with apparently the ability to set appointments and tasks. It'll also show the weather and also the news as well. We also found it interesting that there's a particular tab there that says store. We think this might actually be referring to an app store and that Tesla could be launching an app store very soon. And this reveals several different drive modes, including the sport mode, off-road mode and tow mode. Now as we mentioned at the beginning, this was only one of the patents that Tesla filed that particular day on May 27th. There was also a patent filed about the Tesla Cybertruck rear tonneau cover. On November 22, 2019, Joe Russell on Twitter said, Solar-powered tonneau cover? Please tell me yes. Elon Musk responded to that tweet by saying, will be an option to add solar power that generates 15 miles per day possibly more. Would love this to be self-powered. Adding fold-out solar wings would generate 30 to 40 miles per day. Average miles per day in US is 30. Obviously this got a lot of people excited because having solar panels on the back of the Cybertruck would be incredibly useful and would be a wonderful feature, especially if you went off-grid and you went camping somewhere. The good news is that the patent that Tesla just filed for actually has language mentioning the solar rear tonneau cover. This particular patent application describes solar electric cells that are electrically connected to the battery pack and that these solar cells will be configured to recharge the battery pack. So it appears like this rear solar bed cover will actually be an option that Tesla's going to offer. Tesla also filed a patent talking about the recycled materials that are going to make up this very unique front dash of the Cybertruck. This patent application describes a vehicle having an interior panel, wherein the interior panel comprises of a recycled material, and wherein the recycled material comprises a recycled base material and a resin. Tesla goes on to describe the actual recycled materials that will make up the Cybertruck front dash. It will consist of paper cardboard, fiberboard, wood pulp, bamboo, hemp, cork, desert sand, bioplastics, mycelium, a fiber alloy, cellulose nanofibers, biodegradable polymers, and combinations thereof. Now when you think about the materials that Tesla's going to be using to make this dash, it makes you wonder a little bit about the durability of the dash. However this patent shows that it's going to be very durable and resistant to temperature changes. It's also going to be resistant to humidity, ultraviolet damage and also is going to have good flammability resistance. So it really comes down to it this particular material will not only be very sustainable but it will also be very strong as well and should last for a very long time. Tesla also applied for a patent describing the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck. Unlike most trucks which have a body-on-frame design, the Cybertruck exoskeleton is actually going to bear a lot of weight. This patent describes a vehicle having an exoskeleton exterior panel that provides crash resistance, and it describes it being formed from a monolithic metal sheet. And they emphasize that it does not need additional support structures, and the exterior panels are made to bear loads. They also mentioned that, because of this particular design there is a significant reduction in manufacturing footprint and costs. We know that the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck is going to be able to bear quite a load, because the payload ratings of the Tesla Cybertruck are right around 3,500 pounds, and this is very solid for a truck in this class. Tesla also filed for a patent talking about the suspension of the Cybertruck. In addition to being able to manually set the height of the Cybertruck suspension, it appears like there will be several pre-built-in settings for very useful situations. Like for instance ramp mode. They mentioned that with ramp mode the truck bed will be lower than the front of the truck, 
which will make it a lot easier to pull things in the back of the truck. This particular mode is not a surprise, because this was demonstrated at the Cybertruck reveal, however there was also a mode, that they're calling dump mode, that was not mentioned at all. This dump mode will apparently lower all four tires, and bring the truck bed closer to the ground, possibly much lower than would be able to be driven on. This will allow you to easily remove materials out of the bed of the Cybertruck. They also plan to include some kind of dynamic leveling mode which will help level out the bed of the truck, which they say, may be very useful for activities like camping and tailgating. So in conclusion, the Tesla Cybertruck is going to blow people's minds, and will apparently offer many more features than were promised, and possibly have much better specifications. Demand, of course is already incredibly strong, the Tesla Cybertruck which apparently already has over 1 million pre-orders. And we can't imagine how strong demand is going to be, once this truck actually hits the road, and people see it in real life. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.